I don't see that happening. I'm not thinking about it. I'm happy where I am, so no. Yeah, this is not. Don't intend to do it. You're not making a Sherman statement about that, though. You know, I haven't given any thought to this stuff. People say, what about the, the, the contested convention? I said, well, there are a lot of people running for president. We'll see. Who knows? All right, so there is Paul Ryan refusing to rule out that he would accept a draft nomination at a contested convention. You had Marco Rubio today saying, I'm not going to be anyone's vice president, no disrespect intended. He's not even going to run for his Senate seat uh, again. He's going to go into the private sector. And he said the party's in trouble if they nominate Trump. So don't look for Rubio to be, uh, you know, uh, in any way, shape, or form re uh, related to Trump and, and, and administration. Joining us on the Molesburg panel, we have Rick Unger, senior political contributor for Forbes.com and co-host of Steel and Unger on Sirius XM, and Roger Simon, co-founder of PJ Media and award-winning novelist. All right, Rick. Um, so you know, we're getting uh, more and more into the weeds here. With uh, it seems like every day now we have, as I discussed with Pat Buchanan earlier, we have uh, Bill Crystal and others talking about a third candidate, a third party. I don't know what they call the party, um, but is any of this talk realistic? I don't know. This uh, meeting with this supposed third party is taking place today. Crystal, Eric Erickson. You know, I think it's a little premature, quite frankly. I think they should want to wait and see what happens at the convention before they presume anything. So, yeah, I think it's premature. It's, you know, these are days where I'm really glad I'm a Democrat. And we have our own problems. Oh, you got problems. We got our own problems. <laughs> we do. But uh, nothing like what I'm seeing in, in the Republican Roger, party. what the heck's going on here? Well, uh, I first would differ with Rick on one thing. You've got your own problems big time. You've got the leading candidate under investigation by the FBI. That's, That's right. unheard of. So you have serious problems, too. Both parties have serious problems, ironically. So, um, I, I, But I would agree with Rick that we should look, uh, should uh, cool down for a moment and see what's really happening. Because, look, if Trump does make the 1237 delegates, it's over. That's it. No, absolutely. But, you know, on one hand, you got Kasich staying in there for the express purpose of, uh, of trying to throw it to an open convention. Um, it, it, it could be chaotic. I mean, I, I, Roger, I, I'm of the opinion that if, they, if Trump gets close and then gets screwed, uh, it, 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 that's over. It's over for the Republican Party. Hillary gets in. The Supreme Court goes liberal for the next 40 years. The country's over. <laughs> Unless, unless Hillary is indicted, in which case everything goes crazy. The Both talk, so parties go As we know it, yeah, yeah. And I will say right now, I will not run. <laughs> Rick, I mean, I mean, if, if Trump doesn't get the, the one, two, three, seven, uh, as I, that's how I remember it, uh, <laughs> then, then and, and, and they, they give it to someone else, I, I mean, I, I don't see, uh, so he has so many supporters that are just going to stay home. It's going to open well, the door I, for I, Hillary. I agree. It's going to be quite a situation if that were to occur. I don't think it will, to be honest with you. I think he's probably going to get what he needs before the convention. But even if it's open, if he's close, I suspect he'll end up being the nominee. But if it doesn't, no, Steve, the country's not over. We As have, we know it. I should have, have added that survived, caveat. We have survived long-time liberal courts in the past. We had the Warren Court. We've had this before. The country Affer always survives. All right, affirmative action, the loss of you, the second amendment, loss the of gun rights. This is Republicans. You Lo don't have faith in this country. It's never going to be Loss over. of gun rights, affirmative action gun ruling the roost, nowhere. abortion on demand, yeah. gay marriage, Everything, it's going to be completely we out the window as we know it. That. You already have we it, don't have all the of country it. is right. not over. Right. Two things. Uh, John Kerry today declared that ISIS is committing genocide against Christians and others, Roger. Long, long overdue. And how? <laughs> I mean, they've been at it for a while now, and it is genocide. I mean, it's in the doctrine of the, uh, of, of the Koran and the Hadith. Uh, we are, everybody on this show, in Dar al-Harb, known as the House of War, and the object of Orthodox Islam, which ISIS surely practices, is uh, that we all must be Islamic or bow down and be dimmies under that kind of society. So, yeah, they're practicing genocide uh, over and out. Rick, are you surprised that they finally admitted that? The administration? I, I, listen, I, I hate to say it, but I'm with you guys on this. I don't know why it's taken so long. It's crystal clear that, that this is genocide. Has been for a long time. I agree with everything Roger just said. All right, let's, uh, I want you to see the ad that Donald Trump's uh, uh, ran on uh, Instagram, um, and here it is.
Uh, Roger, that, that was Putin laughing there at the end. Putin now is upset he's that he's annoyed. portrayed poorly in that. Go. What do you say? I don't believe it for a minute. Putin knows good publicity when he sees it, and so does Donald. That's his genius. And I, I think this is actually good for Putin and Donald right. and bad for Hillary. Rick, what about it's it? Uh, the, I, I don't quite understand how she didn't know that that would end up in an ad like this. <laughs> you know, I mean, come on. <laughs> well, and she fired back with an ad of her own, but nothing as clever as this. All right, Roger, Simon, and Rick Unger, I thank both of you. Up next, Tim Graham joins us for Malsberg's Media Madness. And there's some doozies out there. Don't go away.